Welcome to our lecture online. Now with this third example for how to factor the difference of cubes and you end up with something that looks like this. Again, first we need to make sure that this is indeed the difference of cubes. And if we write it like this, the quantity x minus 5 cubed minus 6 cubed. Now we can clearly see that, yes indeed, it is the difference of cubes. 6 cubed is indeed 216. But now in order to get the right result when we factor that, you really want to plug that into the general equation. You may want to write this out first, then realize that in this case, a is equal to x minus 5, and b is equal to 6, and then go ahead and substitute that into here in order to get the right factor. All right, let's try that. So this is equal to, first of all, a minus b now becomes the quantity x minus 5 minus 6. And let's go ahead and write it like this now. Then we multiply that times the quantity a squared. So in this case, a is x minus 5 squared. Then we write plus a times b. x minus 5 represents a, and b rep is represented by 6. And finally, b squared, so plus 6 squared, like that. So now we have a minus b, and a squared plus ab plus b squared. And all we have to do is simplify that. So you can see that it's easier not to make a mistake when you do it like this. All right, let's combine everything and simplify. So this becomes the following. x minus 5 minus 6 can be written as x minus 11 times... So here we can go ahead and multiply that out. That gives us x squared minus 10x plus 25. The way you can do that, it's the first term squared, the last term squared, and then twice the product of the two. 2 times x times minus 5 is minus 10x. Then here we can multiply this through. So plus 6 times x is 6x, and 6 times the minus 5 is a minus 30, and finally plus 36. All we have to do now is in that long polynomial, polynomial is to combine like terms. So this is equal to x minus 11 times, we only have one x squared term. Now we have a minus 10x plus 6x, that gives us a minus 4x. And plus 25 minus 30, that's minus 5, added to 36 is plus 31. And that's the final factored form. Now you may want to go ahead and just make sure that is this perhaps factorable? But in this case, it's not because 31 is a prime number, so it doesn't look like that is a factorable trinomial. And that would be the final factored form of our original problem. And that is how it's done.